We are a homesteading, homeschooling, missionary family of six living off-grid in Kenya. Oh, and did I mention we only live in 224 square feet. It is another lovely morning on the homestead. And we have got all of the animals fed. So here we have our 24 egg laying hens and three roosters. And we've built them um, a cob chicken coop, which is made out of soil, sand, clay, straw, and water. It's very typical to a mud house that is built here in Kenya. So the girls are just having some playtime and once they are settled in, I'm going to start preparing for homeschool with my oldest son. Just before we start homeschool, we do need to get the biogas cooked. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Hi, Glory. This is from Glory to the kitchen. Just goes round, right? Mm -hmm. so the garden, the Glory's coming. Permaculture. We use cow dung to cook. It's put into a uh, biogas where it's then converted into usable gas. We are reading Boy of the Pyramids. Yes. Yes, we are. For homeschool today. All right, so Cafe jumped out of bed and began to put on his kilt and sandals. Yes, he would be, but he couldn't do anything except punish us. Just think, he went on, how exciting it would be to ride out into the desert at night to a tomb that has been robbed. We live off-grid here in Kenya, so that means no electricity, neither do our neighbours, and honestly, it's a wonderful thing to be able to see the stars at night. It is a very minimal life. Some would say it's a simple life. We wouldn't because, honestly, everything takes a lot longer. Like hanging laundry, for example. Today is an especially cloudy day, which means it will take a couple days for the laundry to dry. So definitely not a simple life. It's pretty rare to have a day where it's only our family on the homestead. There are always friends and family around. It's very different than what we were used to in Canada where our home was just our haven. But here, Blissview Homestead seems to be a place of healing and a haven for so many people. Welcome to our tiny house. Here it is, we've got our drinking water, our bank bunk beds for the kids so we have three out of four kids sleeping here the kitchen <laughs> and we've got our other bed here so yes we do all squeeze we utilize a lot of our under the bed space our fridge the bathroom and that's it that is our wonderful tiny house and we love it 